Hi. In this video, I'm going to talk about the uh, INCO terms. INCO terms, uh, which are common international commercial terms. Uh, these are not specific to SAP or uh, any other ERP. So if you go to Google, uh, you can verify what are the INCO terms, you get the details. The same uh, similar details I'm going to explain today. But along with that, I'm going to show you where you can see in SAP. And uh, even we can see the in screen wise, there are a few changes happened in Swahana also. I will try to highlight at the high level. But first, you can understand is uh, what are these international commercial terms and uh, what kind of standardized rules are defined by the International Chamber of Commerce, ICC. So they are used in international and domestic contracts for the sales of goods to clarify the tasks, costs, and risks associated with the delivery of goods from sellers to buyers. We see a lot of uh, videos and all right, uh, while a carrier was uh, carrying on a, a sea, uh, there was some uh, accident happened or else the completely the ship was um, sinking to that sea or else in the road transport, the accidents happen or some firing happens and in the train transport, the completely a train might be burnt or else uh, the items or uh, robbery were, could happen or it was damaged, multiple things can happen, right? Which are not uh, expected, but what happens? People cannot keep it right. Okay, once in a while it happens, let it be. No, we should have a prayer agreement. Even when you do, uh, when a tooth, what will happen after sending the materials from my company, it went out of my company, but while traveling, if something happens, who has to bear it? And you have to take insurance always for these products because any kind of accident or anything can, cause financial loss. At that point of time, the insurance companies will cover 90% or 80% based on the guidelines. So it's always important to have a proper INCO terms for the goods which are sending either any kind of transport or a specific transport related to C. So I'm, going, I'm not going to uh, highlight your uh, read every point. You can go through Google and you can check the documents and all. So here, if you see, uh, there are, um, which are quite popular, which we see while uh, making the uh, purchase orders while working in the business, especially when you're working in uh, Singapore, Malaysia, Thailand, these, all these countries, you see a lot of uh, FOB because um, their transport more depend on sea because they are uh, surrounded by sea. So they use most of the transport by sea so that the containers will go to the port and from there it will go by ship. The container front end will be there, right? The front end vehicle kind of a place. That place will be, uh, it can just run like um, the carrier only. So, but once they put that container there, then the containers will be gone. Most of you are aware about containers. Anyway, I can show you. So, if you go to India and all, we have also, we also have a good uh, transport uh, through sea and certain kind of air, but most of the air, I can see that from the, Road transport also, we have road transport and train transport. Uh, most of the roads, uh, because if you see from uh, Chennai to Kolkata or Vishapatnam to Kolkata, all these things are uh, mostly by road transport. That's why we see a lot of uh, lorries on the NH5 roads, national highways and all. So, but if these kind of countries and all, mostly they do the sea. So what is this? Uh, let's say one point we'll uh, discuss EXW, Xbox. The seller makes the goods available at their premises and the buyer assumes all risks and costs from the from that point onward. Okay. So for example, the seller makes the goods available at their premises and the buyer assumes all risks and costs. For example, um, most here at high level, what I can say that um, most of the buyer assumes all risks from that point onward, assumes all risks. Okay, so here uh, the seller makes the goods available at their premises, and the buyer assumes all risks and costs from that point. So free carrier FCA, the seller delivers the goods to the carrier, and or another party specified by the buyer at the seller's premises or another named place. The risk transfers to the buyer upon deliver to the carrier. So what happened, the seller will just send based on the buyer things, the latter, the complete risk will be uh, upon delivered to the carrier and all the buyer will take care about that. 
So another popular FOB, I will just tell you. So the seller delivers the goods on board the vessel at the named port of shipment. The risk passes to the buyer. What happened? The, once the seller um, sends the goods to the port, from that place onwards, the buyer will take care about the risk. So he will take the insurance, everything he has to take care. So another popular one is CAF, cost, insurance, and freight. Similar to CFR, but the seller also procures insurance coverage against the buyer's risk of loss and damage during transit. So this is, the seller is buying that one. So the seller arranges, in case of CFR, the seller arranges and pays for the carriers of uh, goods to the named port of destination. However, the risk transfer to the buyer when the goods are on board the vessel at the port of shipment. So here in case of CFR, the buyer has to take the risk, but uh, in case of CAF, uh, the seller also procures insurance. So the seller will already buy the insurance for the buyer. He will uh, consolidate everything, all expenses, and he give the price accordingly because he is taking care about the insurance and all. Okay. I think we will find a few good images um, normally in the internet. Okay. So I can find that uh, container for loading. Okay. Th these are the containers I am talking about. So we just uh, load the containers here and those containers, see, these containers uh, will be sent to the port. So see, from the port, they will take this only this container things and the initial, the engine will go back and uh, take another one or else they will have these kind of uh, empty ones. Only the container will be carried and then the containers will be taken there. Okay, most it will be like that. The containers will be taken there engine with this empty one will be going back to the warehouse. Okay. So if you see that uh, import terms with images, so you can find uh, different kind of uh, import terms uh, with images also. You can see here. So maybe you can find here. Okay. So who will take care about that one? Okay, EXW, FOB, the seller, the freight, okay, while carrying, buyer, trucking. The seller will send through truck, custom, after custom duty, they will put it into that uh, sea. Once it reaches, again, the custom duty at that uh, destination country, from that port to truck, it will go to the buyer. During this point of time, who will take the... Uh, risk and what kind of uh, risk will be taken care by the seller. See here, in FOB, seller will take it till it reached terminal. In case of PXW, completely buyer will take care. So in case of uh, DDP, seller will take care most of the cases. So in that way, you can understand how does uh, how things happen and all. Even uh, see here, EXW, FCA. So the terminologies and all you can uh, learn and you can watch. You can read it and understand. So this is about INCO terms. And uh, as an SAP consultant, uh, where you see INCO terms, right? So ME21N. When you go to the purchase order. OK. So here you see that header level, right? These are the INCO terms. So these INCO terms, location one and all, these are all new screens you see in Svohana. Uh, it was a bit different in uh, ECC. Okay. So if you, if you click on uh, F1, and then without specifying project, you will see that uh, where you can define the INCO terms. So these are uh, standard INCO terms are copied until if there is any little customization and all we see but uh, in my experience mostly we saw that whatever international commercial terms the same thing is being used maybe you can see defining code terms it's in transportation management yeah in transportation management we'll mostly take care about this one because they are the uh, team uh, who is going to take care about that um, transportation rules capacity, insurance, damage, those things. So you can see 
ट्रांसपोर्टेशन मैनेजमेंट बेसिक सेटिंग जनरल सेटिंग इनको टर्म्स डिफाइन इनको टर्म्स वट एवर वी हैव सी इन राइट so those things and all here you put it like location is mandatory or not those things we can set it in sap so reminding all uh, would be similar okay so if you go to m21 and see for example इनको टेम्स I will give. So let's keep it uh, something C A F. C A F. See, once I give the C A F, the location is mandatory. Now we have to input the what location and all. For example. We'll check another coin. F H free house. See for F H, location is not mandatory. So the important location details and all, if you want to give, you can uh, input here. So only this location mandatory one we can control based on the uh, importance. so that's it about this uh, inco terms and how we are going to use it and all and in esfohana uh, you can observe that uh, different uh, inco terms is available at the item level also okay so the 100 quantity okay still i need to give that one maybe test location okay so click on check button if you have any inquiry specific item inco terms for um, material level and all you can input that one so each item level material data conditions so we got the price okay those details here so then invoice so no partner schema so yeah we'll uh, we'll cover that point in uh, partner profile related video anyway i'm doing this business partner and partner profile those things are all covered in that video so that's it for today and uh, we have uh, 